Hey guys, welcome to another video of the GTI. This video is going to focus on my 25,000 mile uh, that I put on the car. And uh, the next time I'm going to do one of these videos is at 50,000 miles. I'm going to do a 25K mark. So um, I know people do it at 10K, but 10K is just not enough miles to put on a car and stuff to be able to talk about the problems or um, lack thereof. But anyway, so to kick us off, the first major problem that I've had with this vehicle, and I've mentioned this in a, uh, a video very recently, was uh, my fuel injectors. My fuel injectors went out, and uh, fortunately, even though I'm tuned, it was still under warranty. And uh, I was really psyched about that, but yeah, they went out at about 26 flat. I'm right now at 26.6 right now. Um, so uh, I've definitely put on a lot of miles since my 25K mark, but I figured, hey, you know what? We're going to still make this video. We're going to make it happen. I want to talk to you guys about my time with this vehicle up to this point. Um, so, anyway, on to uh, the small stuff, small electrical stuff that kind of has been uh, going out. And, uh, none of this has, I don't think, been a cause of my own uh, problem. Like, I don't think I was the reason why it broke. I just think it just broke. Um, however, most recently, I had a door sill light go out, uh, you know, those little red strips, if you guys have the Mark 7 GTIs, uh, or actually Golf R's too, um, those have little LED strips and they light up, alright, so uh, that went out, and I was pretty bummed out about that, because it, I don't know, it makes the car, but fortunately it was warranty, and they fixed it, they actually replaced the whole thing, um, a little bit back, uh, I had my AC unit, uh, there was a control module that was broken and I was creating a ticking sound, it wasn't allowing me to change temperatures easily, uh, it would take a really, really long time to get the temperature that I sort of would want, but I'd not really want, it. like it, it wouldn't give me the proper temperature, so that got replaced, that was under warranty, that happened about, um, actually that was early on, that was 10,000 miles now that I think of it, um, at about 15,000 miles, I know I'm kind of jumping around in miles, but uh, uh, my little sprayer for the rear wiper, um, not that I use it that much, but the times that I did, uh, it, it would just always ooze, and even in the summertime when I never even touched the darn thing, uh, it would just ooze, and it would just be kind of disgusting, so, uh, that got replaced, that was warranty, um, I'm trying to think, I think that's pretty much it, uh, aside from all of those little, little, uh, things that went out, uh, this car did have a recall, in fact, I believe all 2015 Golf Sport uh, Wagons and all those, all those vehicles had a uh, recall on their uh, fuel pump, so uh, that was something that actually was, uh, was fixed with the vehicle, as it is a 2015 GTI, but uh, yeah, so pretty much it's been pretty uh, flawless up until, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago with that s small breakdown, minor breakdown. Um, what I'm going to do to hopefully counteract any kind of problems in the future is get new spark plugs for the car because I'm in need of spark plugs. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations on what to get, just leave a, uh, leave a comment in the description on what I should get and I'll definitely uh, look into it. But one thing I want to do to end off this video, because I know you guys like it and I know I don't do it enough, but I baby this thing. It's a little bit of a pull. We're gonna let, I think pretty sure there's a cop in, head it, <laughs> like in front of me right now. Uh, I think he's going by, I don't know if that's a cop or not, fortunately I did not speed, because if it was, it would have been bad, when I go fast, I go fast, right. starting at 40, Find me a car that can do that for the value, you know? It's uh, plenty of cars. I'm not saying that this is a, a hyper car, but to me it's insane because I'm a, I'm a young driver and I'm very, very fortunate to feel this kind of power. It's insane. I don't think I've felt like this kind of rush. Like I get, I get sweat going down my chest when I do those little pulls. It's insane and I love it. I love the feeling. It, uh, it probably plays a little bit of tricks on my mind given the uh, the turbocharger uh, just because that boost once you feel boost you feel like you're you feel like you're about to take off all right so uh there you guys have it i know it wasn't a 
tremendously interesting video, but for any of you guys looking for uh, GTIs, especially if you're looking to get a, uh, well, any kind of mileage, but low mileage, uh, just because I bought mine at 6K, maybe you can relate to me if you buy a 2015 GTI, um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully I covered everything. I'm pretty sure I covered all the problems. There, you know, there weren't really any problems to talk about. This thing has been pretty flawless, uh, and I do really push it too. So um, it's a it's a little tank, and I love it to bits. And uh, I mean, just like you guys, if you have any GTIs, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. They're stupendous cars. They do everything really nicely, not perfectly. There, what I like to tell people is I like to say there's no uh, there's no compromise with this car. It does everything very well. It doesn't do anything perfect, but it does everything very well. Um, and uh, yeah, no, it's a perfect all-arounder for me. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said before, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, leave any comments below of what you guys want to see next with the car. Uh, my spring break is coming to an end, unfortunately, but uh, doesn't mean I, uh, I have one more day to pump out videos. Uh, I've been recording, haven't been posting. Uh, as quick as I wanted to, but um, I'm going to try to do at least one video every week just to keep you guys updated, uh, and I can't thank you guys enough for all of the uh, support I've been getting in all my videos. It's insane. I've been having so many people comment, and I have never would have expected it to come to this point, and uh, I'm very grateful for that. So thank you guys so much for staying tuned uh, to my channel and uh, to the car, and uh, I'll catch you in another one. Peace.